Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, July 25th, 2012. I've just been handed a note indicating that the Royal Gazette down in Hamilton, Bermuda, is reporting that a severe electrical storm has knocked out all of Bermuda's radio and television stations beginning Monday night. Apparently only a few radio stations are back on and one TV station. If you're in Bermuda and not able to get CNN, that's the reason. A coal dust explosion has hit Poland's top utility, uh, PGE, their Turno lignite coal power plant, late last night. It sparked a fire that caused a shutdown about, for about 50% of the plant. The plant itself is responsible for 7% of Poland's power supply. 35 companies of firemen are battling the blaze right now. The plant uh, manufactures or produces 2.1 gigawatts of energy. Uh, Turo is one of Poland's most modern electrical plants. It received a complete makeover in 2005. No word yet on who uh, insures it. Anaheim, California was shaken by violent clashes between protesters and police last night. Storm windows were broken, uh, rocks were thrown at police. Apparently the uh, population of uh, the city that is Latino based are upset because of five police shootings that have resulted in deaths this year. Uh, last evening, before the actual riots, the uh, a group stormed the city council meeting in City Hall and then uh, dispersed out into the streets to cause mayhem. Lancashire Bermuda added uh, $25 million to its losses from the Costa Concordia cruise ship sinking off the west coast of Italy. Um, they now are going to see a fall in their quarterly profit by about 33% year on year. It's still going to come in at about $58 million after tax. Some of the world's largest insurers for corporate directors and officers could be on the hook for hundreds of millions of dollars in claims over the next few years to cover legal costs for people caught up in the LIBOR scandal. DO insurance pays a wide range of defense costs for executives who get sued as a result of business decisions. The sums involved can be big. One consultant said that companies with more than $10 billion in assets typically carry about $200 million in DO insurance. More than a dozen banks are under investigation. One bank, Barclays, has already paid $435 million in fines after admitting that traders working for it attempted to manipulate the LIBOR rates. In India's northeast, nine people were killed last night in overnight clashes between uh, Muslim groups and local tribespeople. This brings the death toll now to 35 over the past four nights. About 200,000 people have been displaced. In central Nigeria, flooding has killed 35 people, at least dozens more are missing. Uh, this is occurring near the uh, town of uh, Jos, J-O-S, according to the Red Cross. Typhoon Vincente, which made landfall on July 23rd in Guangdong province in China, is expected to cause insured losses of up to $300 million. Uh, Guangdong province, uh, Taishan specifically, where the storm hit, is lightly insured. The storm skirted uh, Hong Kong and Macau, even though in Hong Kong it did cause the uh, maximum level of alert to be issued. The French government, Francois Hollande, is beginning to uh, carry out his anti-austerity measures. He's announced a plan to revive France's struggling automobile industry. The recovery plan presented this morning will boost support for environmentally friendly cars amid growing concern for the French car industry. Part of Hollande's uh, big plan to keep and lure manufacturing jobs to plant the so called reindustrialization of the country. Um, one interesting note is that France is going to ask the European Union to put its 2010 free trade agreement with South Korea under review so as to defend the interests of the French automobile industry. Well, for all the dramatic strides in technology and forecasting accuracy over the last 20 years, if another storm the size of Hurricane Andrew, the last uh, Category 5 storm to hit the mainland U.S., hits again in South Florida, the loss of life and property could even be worse than it was 20 years ago. Hurricane experts issued that sobering warning this morning in a uh, discussion to mark next month's 20th anniversary of Hurricane Andrew. They did say that the public alerts will come sooner than the uh, 48 hours notice that South Florida residents received 20 years ago. They also said that the sophisticated uh, weather improvements that have been made will show the precise landfall spot of the storm. But they also said that there are simply too many people in the way. There are five and a half million people now from Key West to Palm Beach County. That's a lot of people in a small area. 
according to Curtis Mayfield, or excuse me, Max Mayfield, who is the former director of the National Hurricane Center, there are still a million people who are not going to do the right thing and evacuate. I don't know about you, but if I saw a storm with 170 to 200 mile an hour winds coming at me, I wouldn't do anything but evacuate. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.